Megill Robotics is McGill University's largest design organization. This year, the 65 members of our Mars rover team successfully completed the design, manufacturing, and preliminary testing phases in preparation for the 2017 University Rover Challenge. The whole team is excited to present our newest and most capable rover, Calliope. Our primary goal this year was weight. We reduced the weight of our fully configured robot by an incredible 20%. Our new rover can use a six-wheeled suspension and our robotic arm at the same time while staying under the weight limit, a goal we decided was critical for the new extreme retrieval task. We used this year to move towards a testing-focused design philosophy, building early prototypes to inform design choices and ensure reliability and competition. This includes a custom rig for testing wheel prototypes. Our lightweight wheel combines a highly compliant outside for rocky terrain and paddles on the inner rim for digging through sand. We improved our frame by switching from steel tubes to aluminum. Welded aluminum poses several challenges, but we address these issues through reheat treatment, recovering almost all of the tempered strength. Our suspension is a modified rocker boogie design that incorporates a bar differential and a new spring damper to absorb intense shocks. Next, our arm. This state-of-the-art manipulator boasts six degrees of freedom and a five kilogram payload. This year, we redesigned our electrical system from the ground up to accommodate for our growing need for accurate sensing and precise motion control. Each of the rover's motors are managed by an ARM microprocessor that uses current, velocity, and position measurements to control the motor's output. These microprocessors are connected directly to the main computer over USB. The main computer communicates with the base station over a 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi link. The rover's power system has been condensed into one main power board that includes load sharing, current sensing, and safety mechanisms. All of our boards this year were designed in parallel with the electrical box to ensure an optimal fit for all our components. This reduces the amount of power wiring needed inside the rover's electrical box. The software division is building on our functional and tested code base from last year for key components such as communications and drive systems. Our first new development is the ability to control the arm based on the position and orientation of its end effector. This will make its operation more natural, giving us an edge in the arm manipulation tasks in this competition. Another major development is the refactor of our front end to follow the model view controller design pattern. We have completed the refactor and are now integrating new features for arm control and autonomous navigation. For this year's autonomous navigation task, we will use an autonomy by demonstration approach. For a particular waypoint, we will manually navigate from start to finish while maintaining global odometry based on data from onboard sensors. Once we return to the starting point, the robot will attempt to follow the trajectory from our manual run. We'll use our tilting LiDAR and RGBD camera to give us 3D perception, allowing us to avoid obstacles along our trajectory. Our science division first focused on designing a unique sampler that uses a flange and a liner to capture an undisturbed core sample up to 20 cm deep. Meanwhile, wind speed measurements, subsurface humidity and temperature are taken at the sampling site. Back in the command station, a dispersive spectrometer gathers information in the visible, near-IR, and mid-IR wavelengths. The broad features in the mid-IR allow determination of clay and sand composition in soil. This year, the pH testing has been incorporated into a modular, automatic system. This system is the beginning of automating all the simple science analysis. Additional analysis such as gram stain microscopy, tests for carbonate, lipids, amino acids, and carbon hydrates are also performed to further determine the geology of the sampling site and look for the presence of life. Once again, our team was successful in acquiring new sponsors to fully fund our project and keep it within budget. Our aggressive timeline allowed our team to have a complete system ready for extensive testing, training, and test simulation. We're more than excited to meet everyone at MDRS.